to the squad. It's Commander Theo Coop, we back with another one. This time from Corey Holcomb. In this clip, Corey discusses a certain financial expert who apparently had something to say about Mr. Holcomb and he wasn't too fond of that. We Oscar Mike. I motherfuckers, it's this bitch ass nigga, uh, name, um, Boyce Watkins. Where do I know that? Exactly. He's not memorable. <laughs> I've heard of that. I feel, I feel like I've seen him. Uh, um, I met the whole ass thing. nigga at Zo show. Where he shook my hand and everything. And he left a comment on Willie D page talking about first time I met him, I didn't like him. Oh, oh, oh I see shit. That. I seen that comment. So this is the post that Corey was referencing. I didn't know where it was at, YouTube, Twitter, but it's actually on Willie D's IG. Meaning Corey Holcomb gives his condolences to DC Young Fly, then says how he wishes his baby mom would die. And this has thousands of comments. I actually did a few days ago try to go back and look through these and see if I can see anything from Boyce. It's so many comments on here, I don't have that kind of time. And it's likely that Boyce deleted it anyway. Now this is a cake ass nigga who has had employees of his say he fucked over them with their money. Cause everybody wanna make Corey the bad guy. Like Corey ain't shit. He got employees that say he fucked them over with money. But this is the Boyce Watkins moment I want every real nigga to watch. Watch Boyce Watkins propose to old girl online. It is the most pathetic shit you ever seen in life. You know, when you propose to a woman and she fuck with you for real, they be like, oh my God, yes. That nigga got on his knees and proposed. She said, you so crazy. <laughs> and six up, brother. So that night I went home and I wrote in my journal and I still have these words written down. I wrote, today I met the most beautiful woman in the world. And so here it is 20 some years later and I still think you're the most beautiful woman in the world. And so I thought that it would be cool to come to this very spot where I first met you. Yes. And get on my knee. Oh, boys. And say, Alicia, Table McLaughlin X, I have, uh, I've loved you so much since uh, I first met you. I think you are, you are, you are, you give me life. You are sunshine for me. And nothing has ever hit, touched my soul the way you have. And, um, and I'd like to ask if, uh, I'd like to go back in time and do what I wish I could have did back then and say, will you marry me? That's why. And, uh, and I guess, uh, and I want to make sure I did it right, so. Uh, Whoa! Uh, yeah. Boys, you are something. So, yeah, so I, I thought that the place that I first met you uh, 26 years ago would be the uh, place to do it. So I think I think I think she's supposed to say yes. Yeah. I, I hope she says. Yes. <laughs> oh my god! I didn't see her say yeah. I just saw her just act like she wasn't gonna put him on blast on the thing. Oh, Maybe she did, but all I'm saying is, Maka, what up, baby? They eventually got married, but she didn't say yes in that video. All I'm saying is, you see the hesitation in her. So you, dog, you don't want, you don't want it with me. I will do a walkthrough of that video that will fuck y'all little marriage up. If you married or if you still married, I don't know how I, I heard, my nigga just told me you just got your veneers. Congratulations, motherfucker. Be down. Homie, he I signify, years ago. you don't want this with me, nigga. So you, like you said, I, I met him, didn't like him. You didn't say that in my face. When I met you, you was kissing my ass up at Zoe's show. Boyce Watkins, look cake ass, look, 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 look pudgy nigga. Yeah, he look like a, a, a preacher. He's like, he like, well, he get he to like talking. He do finance, like he give you financial information, right? Yeah. But I want to ask somebody, like, how you giving financial information to people, but you ain't paying your people? Like, ask the, I, I will have people who work for you on my show as a guest. There have been several people who work for Dr. Watkins who have come out and say that they were, you know, they weren't paid right and things like that. Your guess is as good as mine. I don't automatically assume people when they say someone didn't pay them right. I don't automatically make the assumption that they're, that they're being truthful because anyone can say anything. Hey, you owe me some money. He has had several people come out and say that against him for what that's worth. So we can see who Mr. Watkins really is. So 
be careful how you talk shit about me because I, I'm going to tell you the truth. Motherfuckers like you, little tight-ass motherfuckers like you, it's hard to smile with y'all because I know you don't even like black people. If you if you get to watch this motherfucker, you will see what I'm talking about. I actually disagree with Corey there. I think Boyce loves black people, but he also panders. We'll, and we'll get to that in a sec. He one of them niggas think he better than niggas. Yeah. You'll see. Yeah, everybody who look him up. Uh, Corey said Corey bought that hat. I don't really know him like that. I ain't never really just. Uh, they call him Moist Watkins. Paid attention. <laughs> they call him Moist Twatkins, actually. Anyway, all y'all, but look, let me tell you something. Y'all attempts to cancel me will fail. Nigga, I'm already canceled. <laughs> <laughs> He's been in that lane, man. What the fuck is you going to take from me? I've been subscribed to Boyce Watkins for a few years. I'm not subscribed to him any longer. And one of the main reasons I'm not subscribed to Dr. Watkins anymore is because comments he made several times about Kevin Simons. Also, the timeliness of those comments were all after Kevin Samuels passed away. And let's be honest, that's bitch shit. So some of y'all look like what Kevin had to say, some of y'all don't. I'm not here to judge that, it's your choice. He had over a million subscribers because there are a, a, millions of men who don't feel heard, who don't feel listened to, who don't feel respected. But at the same time, I think that men, you know, we gotta start listening to women, man. We we, we got some men out here that just really, um, unfortunately somebody screwed your head on backward. Uh, you got your masculinity from the internet because maybe you didn't have a daddy. Uh, maybe you hate single mothers because your father wouldn't, didn't spend time with you and you, you because you feel like you weren't worth uh, anybody's love, that, that a child who has the misfortune of losing their father is not worthy of love either. You have a right to say, I don't want to date a single mom. But when you're marketing that and using that as an avenue to express vitriol amongst millions of single mothers out here, some of whom help raise your raggedy like that mama was your last line of defense between you and you being a little little damn male hooker getting somebody poking you in the butt every day. Like without your mama, you would be dead, Negro. Can't you just express your own wishes without using that as a weapon to make people feel bad about a situation that they probably already feel bad about? I thought that once Kevin Samuels passed, he was very opinionated on Mr. Samuels. They could have talked several times as both of those gentlemen were doing live shows damn near daily. There was interviews with, I believe he was on a podcast uh, maybe a couple months after Samuels passing, I think it was the Hip Hop University or something like that, and untrue statements about Mr. Samuels. And this came out July 18th of 22, so about two months after AS is passing. How long has it been since Kevin Samuels passed? It's been a couple about, months. Couple months. Yeah. Um, wow. How'd you feel about that? And then all the, you know, the people that were saying they were glad that he passed away and all the hate and vitriol just kind of came out when this man passed away. Can you kind of talk about that whole thing? Yes. I was very sad to see Kevin die. Um, nobody deserves to die like that. And also, I, I paid attention to Kevin when Kevin blew up. Uh, with that, unfortunately, with that first video where he told that lady she was going to die alone or something like that. Damn. And um, and I didn't just look at the videos he was doing then. I looked at what he did years before. Because uh, someone had mentioned to me that he did a whole show about me. And I didn't know it. I was like, oh, well, let me see. Because I don't watch videos that people do about me. And, and I said, okay, this guy's logical. He's intelligent. Um, a lot of the information Kevin shared four years ago was stuff that was totally cool. Like I would have totally loved to have, you know, bringing him in on a regular basis, et cetera. Here was the challenge with Kevin. The challenge was that Kevin had spent years trying to grow his platform and his shit blew up when he attacked a black woman. Stop the cap. He didn't attack that woman. He's talking about the average at best video. I know you guys have already seen it. And that video probably at this time had been out for over a year by then. So I wonder if Boyce Watkins actually sat his ass down and actually watched the video. He didn't attack that woman. That's your first inaccuracy. When he told her she was gonna die alone, um, it blew up. And Kevin's smart, right? So he knew the algorithm. He knew that if he just puts the words die alone in the title of the video, it's gonna blow up. So he started doing a lot of videos with the words die alone. You know, she's gonna die alone, she's gonna die alone. I personally think that I'm that's check going that. a little bit- I was too. actually editing this video and I just wanted to double check what Boyce was saying. I'm in Kevin Samuels' library right now. Here's the infamous Average at Best video. And he said something in the video about the next 10 titles, you know, insinuating that it was, you know, shock value when he was doing the same thing, saying that women would die alone right after that to keep pushing it in the algorithm. If you look at look at his library, that's not the case. Here's, here's what's Average at Best, and here, here are the next nine videos. What are the titles? Educated, happy, and single don't need no man. Women choices are unfair. Successful attorney has given up on dating. Salute to the Blizzard King, Dennis Sperlin. I even went a step further. I went to Kevin Samuels Library again and I just searched the word die alone. Cause Dr. Watkins said that he used this title over and over again. 
Kevin Samuels has approximately 859 videos on his channel. And the term die alone, he uses it in four. Not even the video that went viral, the your average at best. He doesn't even have that. He used the term die alone in four videos. I luckily should have said this at the beginning of the video, but hey, we're here now is that I was subscribed to Boyce Watkins for years because of his financial literacy and teaching people how to invest in the stock market and things like that. And I also think Boyce gets a bad rap at times, like he's just an all out simp. Of course he does pander. But to be fair, I have seen times when he's been upfront and rocking for black men. But I said all that to say this, I know a few things personally about Boyce Watkins just from listening to his content. Content creators tell you about themselves. And one of the things I know about Boy Boyce, was the product of a single mother. Mom was a teenage mother, father was never around. I just watched one of his videos in preparation of making this one where he talked about he didn't meet his father until he was about 25 years old and never really met him again. And he had multiple children with multiple women. So his dad's a pookie and he was raised by a stepfather, which is good on him. I think a lot of Boyce's vitriol, which I really didn't even show that much. This is, this is just kind of the tip of the iceberg. But I think a lot of it comes from that the people, the women that Mr. Samuels was talking about or was addressing I believe that his mom and also his current wife, and that's no disrespect intended to Dr. Watkins. Dr. Watkins, let me give you a piece of advice from someone who's just only has a bachelor's degree, nothing else. I got more common sense than you. Don't poke comedians, yo. Or he was to sit down and react play by play to an embarrassing ass proposal of yours, he will end that shit. Bro, he will make you cry, man. He gonna cry in the car. What the hell do I know? I'm just a weed head talking on YouTube. Guys, let me know what you think after party in the comments. Commander Theo Coop, but you can call me bitch. Better squad all out. Uh, excuse me, bitches?